Hello everyone, I am Cory Wayne the Calderwood, and I am here playing some more of my All the Life Janky Volcano Helion deck. Here we're doing Volcano Helion, Boros Reckoner, Netherheart Pilgrim, and they're they're gonna do tons of life gain damage shenanigans. <laughs> We then have just some continuous value cards like Sword of Fire and Ice and Sunforger to search for spells, Ice Crown Scepter with Helix's Boros Charms and Lightning Bolts. We have barking dogs in the background. Lots of barking dogs. They're very upset because they're dogs. And so they must bark. It's all, it's all they know how to do. Anyways. This... The new addition I'm testing out this time is we, we cut a Blasphemous Act and uh, we're no longer running a silly thing I wanted to do, and we're going to do Monetize, because they just sometimes win you games. They're terrible late game and retardedly amazing early game, and they just... they're Monetize. It's, it's a white counterspell. We're running red-white and... People are not gonna most of the time expect our one white mana to be a monetize. They're they're gonna be expecting Path to Exile, which is a f far more reasonable card to be running. But uh, but we're not gonna run it. Also, would you know Path to Exile would be even more amazing on Ice Crown Scepter. But we're not gonna run it still because you know Path to Exile cannot counter a spell, and monetize can. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy the fun of janking people with monetize. We're gonna get to do it once or twice in matches, and then people will just play around it, and it will be almost useless sometimes. In the sideboard, though, we also have Thalias right now to go against Storm or some of the janky zero-drop combo decks people run, and uh, so Thalia, if she gets brought in, is real good with monetize. Like, she makes your monetize one more expensive, but then, now when they're paying two mana for their mon or three mana for their mana leaks, two mana for their path, two mana for their lightning bolt, we're a very spell heavy deck. She actually hurts us quite a bit. But if we bring her in, take out some spells for her, she's gonna slow down our opponents, and then then our mana tithe will have even more opportunities to drink people. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, go play some people with this silly casual deck, and I guess we'll, we're going to be just for fun in it, because it's just a fun deck. This is obviously not fetches, not optimized, and just a very B-tier, B Z-tier deck, you know. Uh, and we're, we will keep, we will keep this beautiful hand. It has the potential of turn four, gain all the life. Did I even press start recording? Yes, I did. Alright, cool. So, once again, if we can get out this Netherheart Pilgrim and it stays in play, then beautiful, beautiful things, crazy beautiful things will happen on turn 4. If on our turn 4 we can get this Helion down. We do need to draw one more land. We are not perfectly, perfectly in the free yet. Okay, well, they've got Naya colors, but they're not doing Naya speed. We got another Blasphemous Act. Definitely not something we need in hand at this moment. What we do want is this Relic Seeker. If we don't get set up super strong for another Heart Pilgrim combo, what this doodad is going to do is just let us fetch our super value equipment. He's like modern's budget, not very good, just Stoneforge Mystic. It's the Stoneforge Mystic that we gotta believe in. The one that's legal right now. The one that's about to get fatal pushed or something. Oh, Maelstrom, destroy target and all land permanent and all other permanents with that name. Alright, they really didn't want me to search for whatever the heck I wanted. That is a, that is a shame. Come on, land. We got it. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're not gonna show a giant. So now, we just, we play the Netherheart, we chill, we hang out, we relax. I just realized this opponent we're playing is 
are really, really just for fun and casual, as their deck is 272 cards. I do not know what they were doing. I don't know what we can even expect to happen. They are more just for fun than we ever could be. We're, we're just going to play a land in play tapped. They have no creature for us to get value on with the Volcano Helion, so I feel like I'm just going to chill. We're just going to chill and swing for two. So, uh, I don't know what they're up to. I want to see them do things before I do my things. I hope they play... Alright, well, we know they're five colors, as they have every color available. Yeah. We're fighting... What, they've drawn six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Eleven cards? They're two hundred and eighty-two... Two hundred and eighty-two cards, five color. Who knows what they are up to. This is definitely not a good test of if our deck is good or not. But it will it will be a good test of if this 200 and something card deck can kill a single Nether Heart Pilgrim, because I refuse to play more of my cards down until I see them do something. <laughs> this this single bear is all they will get to play with until they kill it with a spell. Or put out a th creature that's an actual threat. Oh, oh, something's happening. Electrolyze. Well, that is a very good value spell. Maybe they're just running five color good spells. So far, they Maelstrom's a pretty good spell. Electrolyze is a pretty good spell. Oh, Selesnia Signet. That's, that's pretty good if you're five color. That's two of your whole colors right there. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, so... I'm still just going to wait for a creature until I play this Nether Heart or this Volcano Helion. Uh, if he puts down a creature, I can put them down, both down in the same turn and just go for combo. Sun Forger is just going to chill and hang out for now until I draw another creature to put it on. I used to run Swift Spears in the deck, and uh, I kind of wish I had them against this matchup. It's just having a early game aggressor I can throw out. Pretty sweet. Hoden. Hoden of the Singing Winds, eh? Well, that's pretty silly. Alright, we're gonna put down our Pilgrim. We're gonna equip the heck out of this equipment on it. Wish I actually had the lands to unattach, because I miscounted. And we are just going to hang out. We're going to hang out and see what this guy does. So if he's playing a Hoden deck, then eventually he can get them all out and have crazy value going on. What we're going to hope to get set up is... Nope, nope, it just kills my guy. Alright, that's fine. Funeral Charm will indeed kill my 6-1. Another Blasphemous Act. Well, Triple Blasphemous Act is pretty bad against a deck that doesn't seem to play creatures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we... Hmm. If I get a 7th land, then I'll play the other Netherheart. Because if I can play it and equip Sunforger, then I'll feel okay. I'll feel okay with that. Alright, what are you doing, deck? This guy's just doing all sorts of weird things. Garoot Wild Speak, eh? Garoot Wild Speak's pretty good. This is the, uh, this is the moment we've been waiting for. So... So we're going to go for it. We're going to play another Heart Pilgrim. See if it lands. It's our third one. We, you know, three Blasphemous, three Nether Heart. It's what we're all about. It's really not what we wanted, but 
triple. I guess it all worked out in the end. In the end, it didn't really matter. So now we're gonna Volcano Helion. We gotta hope we stack it up right, and he has no actual reaction. Oh, he has... he still has four mana open. I did not even look at how much he had available. Spell Queller. Spell que This guy in his five color, just good shit. He's just playing five color, decent cards. Spell Queller does indeed uh, answer Volcano Helion pretty damn well. So, I guess there's that. I guess we just hang out and chill. If he doesn't kill our Pilgrim, we still get to equip Sunforger, and that will still be okay. Life will be K. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty neato. Neato bandito. Five cards in hand. Yeah, this is drawing all these extra cards from the Hoden. Pretty sick. So. Yeah. Let's equip. See if he has a reaction. Hmm. What do you do about it? Promocus command. This guy, this cheeky fucker. Well, yep, you get to fight. Okay. Well, my equip ability fizzles because my target's no longer there. Pretty cool. Pretty neato. I mean, I guess next turn we just Blasphemous Act, hopefully. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We do quite a bit of damage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we drew, draw Boros Charm and then Blasphemous Act with Boros Charm, that would be really cool. That'd be pretty neat. Oh my goodness. Alright, what can we do here? Other than wish. Wish a wish upon a fish. Alright, I'm just gonna untap. Oh, oh my goodness, that's that's a lot of mana. Oh my god. Well, that's. Oh, you know, let's let's let him let's let him do it. Whatever, bring me to five. Yeah, all right. Well, I don't know what we really do against his silly value deck. Bring in the single crumbled the dust that's for Tron. Bring in the Sword of Light and Shadow. I guess we have Tempest of Light is decent against his plan. Though we only saw one Hoden. We'll bring yeah, we'll bring Disenchants in. Blasphemous Act was not needed. I mean, at the end it would have been good there, but everything leading up to it was just me wishing I had things. He runs a lot of mana stuff. He hasn't seen the mana tithe yet, so that still might be relevant. 
take out a single Helion. Not super feeling. Not he feeling the Helion. I also don't feel like Bolt is terribly good in this matchup. Let's submit and see what goes on. Alright. Yeah, 280 to the deck. We will, uh, we'll keep. We got a pretty fair start here. Amphitheater, not show our giant because we don't have giants in the deck. I just like to make people think I might have giants in my deck. It's like playing with their emotions. Alright. I'm not worried about insta speed killing any of his enchantments. He can have an enchantment out for a turn. Just disenchanted on my turn, if need be. Talisman of progress. Maybe we just blow up Talisman on our turn. It's not the strongest play, but fuck it, you know? I like him not getting to ramp. But come here, Jeffy. Oh man, this dog. Dang dogs. Oh, oh, is it? Is it wizard? It? Alright. Well, we're not gonna let him have that in play. That's just not allowed. So we're gonna kill his creature. Swing for two. And just hope he doesn't draw anything too good. Hoden of Infinite Rage, target creature or player. Ooh, he just can kill our Nether Heart Pilgrim with that. That is real upsetting. Hmm. Well... Do I crumble to dust? Hmm... He has tons of black and red. The only white mana he has is... Oh no, he has multiple. There's no way to take him off a color, is there? Oh, I could take out Breeding Pool, take him off a green, as of right now. If that even matters or not, who knows? Either way, my Pilgrim dies on my turn, so I guess we'll get in for two with it. So he definitely is running all the Hodens, it looks like, or at least most of them. We've seen the blue and red one, he's five color. He's like 282 Hoden, I hope that's the name of his deck. Um. You're only allowed to run one of each Hoden of, you know, Hoden of the colored Hodens if your deck is 282 cards. It's just a new rule in Magic. It's just part of the game. So, Reckoner feels good just to have another creature to keep the aggro up, because we really just want to kill this guy. He's already at 11. We've got 7 damage instant speed in hand. So if we can just get a little bit more on this guy, just squeeze in a little bit more, like it's just over. Wish, wish I had some hasty shit. But taking someone off a of color when you're running a land destroy thing, that's just what it's all about. Plus, I want to see this guy's deck. He's running 282 cards. You get to see his hand. Yep, yeah, so we make Nissa extra useless. He's out for your turn. Door to nothingness. And he's also running door to nothingness. What a silly deck. Mastery command. It's good to know his hand is useless. Th is this guy running a two? 
Okay, no. He's not... He is not a Highlander deck. He might be... No, no, no. He, he runs some doubles. Double Contagion Engine. Cruel Tomatoes. What a... What a wanky, weird control deck. Chromanticore. Four Biovisionaries. <laughs> in his 282 card deck. You never know when you might get all four of them out. You know, this is truly the just for fun deck right here. Like we we wish we could be the just this for fun. Like I usually play just for fun with decks that I'm still like trying to make good or have be competitive in some form or way. But I just want it to like you know, it's a low tier deck. It's a more just for fun deck cuz it's not going to be, you know, top tier affinity most of the time or other decks, but this is like, this is just next level casual. We just couldn't even, we can't even compete with this deck. Oh yeah. It's pretty nice getting to see his entire deck though. Well, let's see what he pings. You gonna kill my pilgrim? Oh yeah. Cool. Thank you. Oh, we, we wanted you to kill our pilgrim. It was all part of the plan. No, he got his green mana back. Well, it's still good we got rid of that other one, because now he would have been able to play Nyssa with both those, but he is still off. So let's just, uh, hmm, yeah. Let's play Boris Reckner, unless he top decks something out of his 269 cards. Whoa, 69! Then, uh... We're pretty safe to play our Boros. We know he has no removal in hand he can cast. He's gonna ping me for one. And, yeah. Probably has nothing he can play. Sweet. We're getting there. Alright. Perfectly okay with this Hoden chilling there. Ping me in the face for one all he wants. It is not not a hindrance. Oh. Oh my god. I want to play this sort of light and shadow, but I have the lightning and Boros charm. Like, there's just. Sometimes. You just gotta let your opponent have a whole nother turn, though. I feel like... I feel like this is just one of those moments where we just can't say no. Oh, he had an answer anyways. Well, cool. Well, that's alright. See, we wouldn't have won... We have seven damage in hand. He j we just need to get him to take one more damage. One more damage. Where are you, Swift Spear? Oh, oh. Dovin Ban. Dovin Ban. Interesting. Good to see you, Dovin Ban. Good to see you. Well, land is not really what we wanted. Do we kill Dovin Ban? Kinda wanna. Kinda wanna. <sighs> it takes us away from our just game winning death though. Like we top deck a bolt afterwards. Oh no, that's he gained two life. That's right, he get, keeps getting to gain life off that. Well, Let's disenchant the Hoden. Let's helix the ban. And we'll just pass. 
we're top decking, his deck just has way stronger late game blowouts. Regardless of the fact that it's huge and not powerful, he can cast that big 6 mana spell now that I think is some form of board wipe. Don't even remember what it said exactly. 8 damage in hand. Well, if we can just top deck another burn spell, then we have the match. Destroy an artifact. Well, there goes Sword of Light and Shadow. I'm perfectly okay with that. We're just trying to top deck deck a bolt. Where's my lightning bolt? Give me lightning bolt. Yeah, that was at the end of his turn. Fury Charm. Fury Charm's real cool. The card's just, just a hoot. Okay, Anissa's Chosen. Anissa's Chosen. If we died Anissa's Chosen, I would be so sad. Well. Back on the MVP Reckoner plan. Reckoner's pretty damn good. Let's see if he can make it happen. We got the charm to protect him, so if this guy does some Wrath of God effect or another destroy spell, we're ready. We got the Boros Charm in Mono. Open. We're not afraid. Alright. Gain two life for each elf you control. No. No. I don't want you to gain life. It's exactly what we don't want you doing. Yep. Yep. You gained, you gained life. Congratulations. You once again got out of range. This guy. This silly, cheeky... Bugglewuck. I don't even know. So... Kinda wanna just kill Nyssa. Wanna kill her right now. Don't wanna dick around with, uh her getting to gain more life or get any value out of it. We just want her dead. Then might as well play Pilgrim. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna Soul Bond. Go screw it. Swag YOLO. And let's just try to get this guy down. Sweet. Alright. Got him in nine. We're getting there. We're getting there. We can do it. Two more hits and a Boros charm. Finish off this game. I can gladly take two. Not a problem. Come on. Wrath of God effect. Get greedy. Try to blow up my board. I'm ready. I got a Boros Charm. Alright. What do you got? Target player sacrifices a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Rebound? Oh, consuming vapors. Why do you exist? Ugh. Oh, this guy. Goodbye, Nether Pilgrim. Can we just, like, top deck a Blasphemous Act and end this already? Please. Please, Jabez. Cat Jabez. Okay. Well. We, like... This is just so depressing. It's so sad to be in this situation. If only my monotithe was a swift spear like it used to be, this would have been... If 
feels really bad losing against this deck, I gotta say. Like... He just... had everything. He just top-decked such good answers. We literally were sitting there with a, like, beautiful, beautiful protection from removal, but he would just have double edict, <laughs> like... Alright. The life gain, too. The fact that he's gained so much life as we've brought him low and gotten him close to death. Um, monetize that. Cool. Alright. Well, we top deck a land. Very beautiful in our deck that does not need more land. Okay. Okay. Come on, game. Just... Give me something. Give me something that can... Oh, okay, another monetize. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> Beautiful. This has got to be one of the most slow, depressing games of Magic I've ever played with my silly combo deck. I just... Uh I'm losing to 282 random good cards control. Like, oh, well, we've got seven damage we can do instant speed to face. Let's just, uh, we'll just keep turning until we get enough to kill him. If we get one more bolt or lightning helix, we win. If our deck can just be nice to us and actually give us things we wanted turns ago. Counter target sorcery spell, target creature power two or less, look at the top three cards of target player's library, put one of them back and the rest in the player's graveyard. Okay. Oh, they're targeting themselves. Okay. They're using that as a filter. I'm glad they're not targeting me, because that would have been the better play, probably. Well, we top deck a land, just like God intended. The other thing that is absolutely sickening is this, uh... This Esper Mage. So, like, once again, this guy just keeps top decking, like, shitty cards, or cards that are not really good in this format, that just are hosing what I'm trying to do. Like, once again, we just wanted to top deck damage to finish out this game. One more Lightning Bolt would win us the game. But if this loses Summoning Sickness, guess what? Lightning Bolt no longer wins us the game. Because he can prevent two damage. I am sick to my stomach almost. Hopefully he just attacks me with it. Like, if he just swings for four, I will be a happy person. Oh, yes. Oh, thank god. We still have a chance of just top-decking victory. This game. Oh, this game. Oh my goodness. So now we really need to win, because he can Anthem twice next turn? Yeah, he can hit me for 12 next turn, plus whatever, if he has something else. Oh, plus he can make a token at the end of my turn, so this is literally, I draw something to win, or I die. I did not draw something that lets me win. That does not let me win at all. a decent card. I play it, I guess? I play it. I don't know 
if I've ever experienced so much physical salt. It's like my body is getting covered in salt. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. You make your one one sapperling. We have eight mana. How much damage do we want to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can be at seven and feel pretty comfortable. Maybe I do six to it. Just doing two to it is fine also, right? Like just stall until hopefully top decking victory. But paying for the Echo and having him on board, like our, our deck has just not wanted to give us things, so let's pay the 6, go to 7. We'd have a reaction in play if we pay for his Echo, and I'm okay with that. That is okay. It'll feel bad to pay for it if we top deck the burn that would let us win though too, right? That would be really dumb and frustrating. That would be pretty dumb. Pretty damn dumb. But hey, we gotta risk it. Fighting a pretty... Oh yeah, he's going all out still. He must have the board wipe in hand, or something. Let's block the guy that can prevent damage if it's untapped. Go to four. Does he just have a spell to do four to my face? That would be real s sad. That'd be you just chars me. Where are you, Char? What do you got? Destroy all artifacts, destroy all creatures with converted mana cost four or greater. Whew. Alright then. Alright then. Boros Charm. There we go. We are so close. We are so close. Oh, goodness. Well... That's way more than we needed to do, so we took damage. Alright. One, two, three. Four. If we wouldn't have paid for the Helion, we would. If we didn't save the Helion, we had the ten. We fucking had the ten. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, let's bolt the Demir. Okay. Swing for six. There's no way we win. We've spent way too much time this game debating and thinking about these stupid things, and, uh... We have four minutes. Huh. Oh, goodness. Does he have a reaction? Door to nothing. Okay. Oh. oh. Are we... 
Are we making things happen, deck? Are we gonna do it? Okay. Begin combat. Okay. Bye, goodness. Alright, see you later. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. See you. Love you. Bye. Oh. Boom. Okay. Swing all out. Okay. If I can have three minutes left next game, and I curve out perfectly, we can potentially win in three minutes. It's possible. And then, bolt face. Can you just die? Can you please die? Is that game? Alright, begin sideboarding. woo 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 Yeah, don't care about- it. oh, Thalia's? Wait, yeah, why don't I bring Thalia's in? I want Thalia's instead of Monetites, maybe? Yeah. Monetize was cool once. Thalia's will be just another creature. Just another thing they have to kill spell. Uh, makes my stuff more expensive, which will suck, but I do not care. Let's try to... Let's go fast. We gotta go fast. We gotta do it. Gotta do it. Alright, cool. Bam. I'm gonna keep. Yep. Keep. It's perfect. ba ba bop bop bow Okay. Uh, yield until end of turn. Yeah. Okay, my turn. We play mountain. Yield until end of turn. Bam. End my turn. Yield until end of turn. Bam. Thalia! Yield until end of turn. Okay, okay. We can do it. Got six damage in hand. We swing for two over and over again. We're doing it. We got this. Okay. Okay. Boom. Mountain. Bam, bam. Another heart. We can play it way out of order. Who gives a fuck? We don't have the bolt available because of our own Thalia. Who cares? Okay. Combat. Swing. Okay, okay. 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 Sweetness. Okay. How are we gonna do this? City of Brass? I love City of Brass. Use it a bunch. Kill yourself. Do it. Alright. This guy's got ten minutes. We got two and a half. How can we make this guy die? Alright. Yep. Sig Signet's pretty good. He's just gonna mono ramp and then play big things. Alright, we play a land. Okay. Bam, bam. Swing for four. Bring 14. 14's a good spot for him. Let's put him there. Um, we might as well play our sword. Oh. Huh? Oh. Cancel. Whoops. That's gonna kill us some time. Okay, that was first strike. We're not out of combat yet. Okay, are we in main phase? We are. Alright, now we play sword for four. Bam. Okay. That killed like 20 seconds, 20 something seconds. Should have been faster. Let's uh, yield until end of turn on his turn, because I have no reactions anyways. And then we just gotta hope we can close this out. We're so close. We're doing it fast. Thalia feels real correct right now. Next turn we can equip. If he has a kill spell, we equip over to the other one. So, we're pretty safe-ish. 
Okay, cool. Severed the bloodline. Cool. Alright. Play a land. We will. We then are going to attempt to equip Sword of Light and Shadow, another Heart Pilgrim. We then will play another Thalia. Okay, yes. And then, okay. Swing for four. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're all tapped out. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We yield until end of turn on his turn. Six damage on board. We got the bolt. We got the helix. We can end this game before our time is up. Gotta go fast. Come on. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Ooh. Oh, I'm amped. I'm amped up. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. Pretty sure we got it. Yeah, creatures you control. Draw a card, put target attacking or blocking on top of its library. Why? Oh. Okay. Okay. Begin combat. He could have used that maybe a bit better. Does Boros Charm deal four to a player's face win the game? Oof. Oh, yes. Thank God. Mi minute and six seconds left. I am glad I did not die to his silly deck. That is a cool deck. It's cool that it did so good, but that was obnoxious. Oh, I was not ready for that. It's like... That... It just had so many just decent cards. It's just five colors with decent cards. Some of the cards in it were just junk. Just... I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that deck. I do know... That was some fun... This is, some, this is some fun. I'm, I'm gonna hop off and go take a shower and try to remember anything that isn't that experience I just had. You guys have an excellent, excellent rest of your existence. <laughs>